Hi everyone, it's Nicole, and this is my June Studio Calico Kit. And I think I've mentioned it quite a few times before, and that's when I started doing the paper selection, is, you know, I kind of match up the papers. But even at that, even with the paper, sele it, paper selection, it made it somewhat easier to start a kit, but I still found it very, um, very hard at the beginning to, to start a kit. So I thought this month I would try something a little different. And you got to keep in mind that I have this second sheet so that I don't have to worry. So if I want a full sheet of a certain things or a bigger piece, I have that second sheet. And I don't mind that, you know, I'm going to get into it. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to I'm going to try and keep it in the same order too because I've already made my paper selection. So another disadvantage is I won't know who, which company made what. So I'm going to take every single sheet and I'm going to cut it six by six or six by 12. And then the only thing you got to be careful too <coughs> is look at both sides of the paper because some of them is going to be directional and you're going to want to, you know, whether I would want it that way or that way. And I'm most of the time when I use a chevron, I use it that way. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that for all the papers. I'm going to take the branding strip off. Paper sticking. And then I'm going to cut it in half. So six by 12, so that I'm going to have, you know, some, a piece that I can cut, still cut it down four by 12 or, you know, four by 10 or six by 10. And then the rest, and I won't do all the pages here with you, or it depends if, if I don't find, you know, as long as it's not a 25 minute video. So this one here, again, is directional. Am I going to want it this way or this way? And I know most of the time I like it horizontal. So I'm going to keep doing that. And this one here too. This one here, I'm going to want it so that when I cut it, that I have most of everything on the strip horizontally. So I'm going to cut it this way. I'm just going to do a couple more and then I'll show you what I'll do with the second 6x12. And there's not going to be any rhyme or reason. I'm just going to cut it. And most of the time anyway if you remember when when I put stuff in behind a photo like a layer I usually end up cutting it anyway only using part of a strip because I hate wasting and this way right off the bat I'm gonna have scraps as soon as I start scrapbooking I'm going to have scraps that I'm going to be able to use and layer. So I'm going to try that this month. And again, if you only have the one sheet, maybe, you know, you don't feel comfortable doing this. But where I do have the add-on pattern paper and the more pattern paper, I don't mind doing this at all because by the time I'm done my kits anyway, all I have left is, well you saw in my last Kit Kit video, all I have left is little pieces of paper. So I really want to get these kits used up and I believe on, this is Friday, September 6th. And I think my September kit is coming in on Monday. 
and this I'm working on my June kit. So needless to say, I'd like to, you know, get a move on and get kind of, maybe not cut up, but at least so that I'm a little closer to the actual month that I'm getting the kits. And uh, the reason I felt, I was only um, two months behind, but the reason I fell so far behind is in August, I knew my son was going to need all new hockey equipment. My daughter, my youngest daughter, was getting her molars removed. And so we knew all these, you know, and then school starting, there's extra clothes, there's school supplies. Although I went from sending three kids to school to only my son, my baby, which he started high school and I felt like crying. My baby in high school, I still remember him, you know, the age of my grandson. <laughs> so it, it was kind of, uh, kind of bittersweet, you know, because you feel like you're, have a little bit more freedom, you know, because your kids are a little older, but guess what? You're getting older too, <laughs> which is not the fun part. But anyway, so that was, um, I put in an extra, I, I worked 250 hours in August to kind of, so that we could take cash for all that stuff. And I uh, have to say, yesterday or the day before, I put in a couple of orders too because I felt like I deserved it <laughs> after working all those hours I uh, ordered my th myself a, a few new things so I'll be sharing that haul hopefully soon one of the orders um, I think it was yesterday cherry on top their code to get 20% is today 20 t-o-d-a-y 20 and you get 20% off your entire order and that's really the only time I order from them because in Canada the shipping for them is like 30 bucks so by having 20% off I end up with $20 off so then the shipping is you know only 10 bucks which is way more affordable so I ordered an order from Cherry on Top and Simon Says. So I'll be sharing those really soon because Cherry on Top anyway said that they've already already sent the order. So I'm going to cut up this gold one. I am not a gold fan, I have to tell you. Not a gold fan whatsoever, but maybe if it's cut up, maybe I'll use it. Now, I won't do this on camera. I'll do one strip. But what I do is anything that has, you know, cut parts like this, I cut them. I take one of my two sheets, because I have the extra, and I cut it apart right away. And then I use um, a clip, and I put them all together and then I take them out every time I scrapbook. So then I have three sheets here that I have to cut apart, so I'll do that. So one side, and I'm gonna keep it in the order that it's in because I still wanna you know, use the paper that I put together. So one side I'm gonna keep like this, and then the other side, there's not gonna be any rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna cut some strips every which way and blocks and I'm just gonna make scraps and it's never it's never gonna be the same I'm just gonna do different widths and different blocks with every single paper that way, when I 
start taking stuff out and I can just go through it and start scrapping. Hopefully, you know, then I, I'm not wondering, oh, what kind of blocks can I do this time? I'm just going to go through and I'll have already blocks kind of made out. And I'm going to try that this month and see if I like it. And if I like it, this might just be the new way I'm going to scrapbook. And I'm, I make one of them at least, you know, close to a 4 by 6 or to that size because in case I want to mat a photo with with one of my pattern papers. So that's something that I'm going to keep pretty consistent. So I just thought I just thought that I would share this with you guys. And you know, hopefully tonight before I go to bed, I'm going to start scrapping my first layout using the kit because I've I've already done the layout using a non-kit. So that should be up to YouTube either tonight or tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.